If at any time I'm going too fast, you can pause this video, but let's go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And this is part two to making the fruit snack label wrapper. And I'm just going to show you how to assemble it. If you didn't see part one, go watch that one first. I showed you how to make the template and design it using Canva. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that. And then come back to this video where I show you how to assemble it. Now for this video purposes and the fact that my printer does not have much ink is what it keeps telling me. I do not need both of these templates. I'm just making this for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and delete one of my designs off because I'm only going to print one. And I know I know it's going to waste some paper, but I don't have enough ink to do both or I don't know if I have enough ink to do both. So just get rid of one. At the top, you're going to see the little icon that shows that you can download it and you're going to save it as an image and it's going to show up in your photos. So once it's done downloading, it just takes a couple seconds, sometimes a minute, depending on how does how um, difficult. What's the word I'm looking for? How intricate your design is. Mine is very simple, didn't take that long. And this is what it looks like in my photos. I'm going to click at the bottom, the icon to the far left, and that's gonna take me to a menu. So I'm gonna scroll down to where it says print, and I'm gonna click on print. And then it's gonna bring up my printer settings. I still use my Rinky Dink printer, and yes, I'm still low on ink. We know my print is going to keep telling me and I'm going to keep trying to print until it starts streaking. So here we are. And also not only am I going to keep printing until it starts streaking, I'm going to go into media and quality and change it to the best setting because I got that much faith in my printer. And plus I haven't checked to see if the app that's linked to my Canon printer, it'll tell me how much, but I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going to ruin my hopes. I'm just going to move it over to best and keep it going. And then I'll be able to go back to my printer setup just to make sure I have everything the way that I want it. And then I'm going to click print and it's gonna send it to my printer no matter how much ink is in there because we already know it's low. I'm still gonna try it no matter what. If it ain't streaking, there's some ink in it. So I'm going to let that print out. And after I print it, I am going to assemble it. I have some scissors, a hot glue gun that is double-sided tape. And I have some zigzag cutting scissors and the video is kind of self-explanatory so I'm not really going to talk through this part. You can just watch me cut it. I will say leave a little edge on one of your sides. So you see here where I'm cutting mine. On this side I'm going to get right up against that side but on the opposite side with the nutritional facts I am going to leave a little opening. Another thing is do not put too much hot, um, hot glue because you're gonna see me burn myself in a few. But like I said, I'm just gonna let this video play through to the end and show you how I assemble my fruit snack wrapper that I made in Canva. Please go watch that video if you haven't. If you don't need that video, that's fine too, but it gives you some tips on how to use Canva if you're new to it. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what other fruit or party, well not fruit snacks, tell me what other party favors you would like for me to make so maybe chip bags capri sun pouches things of that nature and i can upload those later bye